Here is the latest from Oil City News on K2 A Radio. Casper man has been charged with three counts of driving under the influence, resulting in serious bodily injury after a two-vehicle crash on Sunday night. 23-year-old Jacob Klinger heard the charges during his initial appearance before Natrona County Circuit Court Judge Kevin Tahiri. Each count of driving under the influence is punishable by imprisonment of up to 10 years. The judge took Natrona County District Attorney Dan Itson's recommendation and set bond at $50,000 cash or surety. Klinger will have a preliminary hearing in about uh, 10 days if he doesn't bond out and 20 days if he does. Casper Police said they responded to this crash with injuries at the intersection of East 21st Street and South Beverly Street about 10.30 p.m. Officers arrived on scene where a pickup truck driven by a Klinger had collided with a passenger car driven by a juvenile with three juvenile passengers ages 14 to 17. Five people, including juveniles and one adult passenger in Klinger's vehicle, were taken to Banner, Wyoming Medical Center. The victims are expected to recover with varying degrees of seriousness in their injuries. At this time, the condition of the adult passenger is unknown. Crash scene investigators were called to document and collect evidence and to conduct interviews with those involved. Speed and impairment are currently being investigated. Additional charges may be filed at a later date. The Laramie County Coroner's Office is asking the public's help identifying a man whose body was found in Cheyenne last fall. County Coroner Rebecca Reed says that the body was found on Cheyenne Refineries property at the 2700 block of East 5th Street on November 14th last year. DNA testing has been done on the remains, but his identity is still unknown. A forensic artist was able to put a face to the unidentified remains. Uh, We do have images. You can see them at k2radio.com, and they're a rendering of what the man may have looked like. The coroner says he was Caucasian, about 45 to 65 years old, uh, 5 feet 8 inches tall, 138 pounds, with dark hair, maybe mixed with gray. He did not have any noticeable scars or tattoos and was wearing a size large brown t-shirt with 32 by 32 insulated camo pants and a size 9.5 black tactical type boots. Anybody who may be able to identify the decedent or who has any information is asked to call Coroner Reed at 307-637-8000. That's 307-637-8000. In other news, Wyoming's economy is experiencing moderate growth with positive trends in employment but challenges in the energy sector. That is according to the Wyoming Department of Administration and information's latest macro report, which says rig counts remain a bright spot for Wyoming energy. However, low natural gas prices, lower oil prices, and declining coal production are chilling the sector. Statewide employment has seen consistent annual growth with an increase of 1,700 jobs in August compared to the previous year. The labor market continues to show healthy signs with the statewide unemployment rate holding steady at 3% in August. That marks the 17th consecutive month of unemployment at or below 3%. A deeper look at the jobs picture shows the private education and health sectors added the most jobs for the quarter, up 700 or 2.5%. The mining sector shed 400 jobs, or 2.3%. Despite positive news in employment, the energy sector is facing headwinds. While oil and gas rig counts are up, low natural gas prices, declining oil prices, and a significant drop in coal production are causing concern. Coal production in the first seven months of 2024 is down 23 percent compared to the same period last year. Oil and gas rig counts were 13 and 5, respectively, in September this year. Uh, In September last year, there were 18 oil rigs and four gas rigs. State revenue data also presents a mixed picture. Uh, Sales and use tax collections for the first three months of fiscal year 2024 are slightly down compared to the previous year, while severance tax collections have also seen a minor decline. You can read more at k2radio.com. This is Colby Feeder.